Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with this Bites for you with another bite of information. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Creative Sound Blaster X Pro Gaming H7 Tournament Edition. These headphones look amazing, at least from what I've seen online, and well, the box is pretty impressive too. It comes with this plastic wrapping, which typically means it's something good inside. But anyway, there's a whole lot to talk about on this particular set of headphones and I don't want to bore you with all the information so come over here real quick and I'll talk you through it as I'm doing the unboxing. Alright guys, so here she is again. The Creative Sound Blaster X Pro Gaming H7 Tournament Edition. So let me go ahead and take this out of the bag just so you can get a better picture of it. of a picture there um, you can see upgraded drivers upgraded mic new sleek look programmable sound signatures all that good information there and some more all right and then along the side you have some more of the same and a few extras I'll do it Star Wars style there And along the back, just some more of the magic that is inside. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this tape open. Left my knife, so I got to use my nails. All right. And because of this guy, I think it might be a little difficult to open up. Nope, pretty easy. All right, so nice slick looking box. So they have the HD 7.1 surround sound gaming headset with dual sound signatures. It has built in 24 96 kilohertz USB DAC for high definition signal audio immersive gaming. So pretty exciting there. That's uh, some good stuff there. So I'm starting to take it out of the box. And well, first off, let's go over these guys real quick. So one thing you'll notice, or a few things you'll notice, these have this guy to keep all the moisture out of here. Don't eat these kids. It's not tied. All right, so they have brushed metal ear cup plates and gunmetal finish right up here. It looks beautiful and it feels real nice too nice and cool and a reinforced steel headband and aluminum architecture the way they spell it is aluminium and then their premium blend of soft touch plastics memory foam and plush leatherette so no animals were harmed in the making of these headphones and this actually feels very nice too here is the memory foam feels pretty good and very durable see just other headphones probably would have snapped by that point they also have here their tilt just to make it a lot more comfortable the tilt driver design and the mini acoustic chamber so depending on how your ears are how your head head is the headphones will fit a lot better to add to that mini acoustic chamber so pretty nice it is textured right over here as well and of course it is adjustable so if you got a big head or even a little one it'll fit anyway oh and they tell you left or right so you make sure you got it on there right so improved response 50 millimeter full spectrum drivers these guys right over here rated at 118 db tuned for clearer louder and more accurate sound reproduction the headsets have between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz of frequency response now it can be used as an analog 3.5 millimeter stair through the stereo input which is in there and i'll show you in a sec or it could also be used as digital USB mode and we'll talk about that a little bit in this 
unboxing and overview. All right. And then we can see, I'm just going to lay these down right over here. You can see right over here, they have the little kind of breakout box. Let me open this up just so I can bring it closer to the camera. It's our nice thick cable too. Okay. A little breakout box here. This works as mute, unmute. And then we have the volu volume rocker right over here, or the wheel, I should say. And then right over here, you can see that that is a play or a pause button, but it's also to answer the phone or hang up the phone. And then down here, we plug in the 3.5 millimeter or the micro USB portion of that cable. I'm just going to put this down. There is a little bit more in this box. Just this right here. Okay, and nothing else right over here. So one thing you'll notice, there was no microphone here, which is a pretty cool thing because the microphone is detachable. I'll take that out real quick. Some manuals right in here, and I'll go over that in one sec. All right, so here is the microphone. It goes connected right down here. Easy connection, and there you go. So this is their redesigned, improved, and detachable noise reduction microphone. Frequency response of 100 hertz all the way up to 15 kilohertz. It is a unidirectional noise reduction condenser, and it has a sensitivity of negative 40 dB. So very sensitive. All right, and again, you know, you saw me attach it, so you can always detach it as well. That is very, very handy, and you know, you can put it any way you want to. And to show you the headphone, the microphone. All right. And then right over here, and I do apologize, I didn't get lengths, but they seem pretty long. So first off, this cable here is about maybe three feet, maybe two feet. And I'll measure that for you in the written review as well. And their X down there. Okay, and here is the 3.5 millimeter stereo connection. Okay, you can see that right here. And that is probably about another 3.3 feet. So just connect it right here. And it looks to be about maybe five feet. Again, I'll get better measurements for you a little bit later on. Now we come to this guy. These are the, this is the USB connection. So again, you get two modes. You get stereo and you get digital USB. This one seems, actually it's around the same. Let me just verify. Nope, it seems the USB is a little bit longer. Okay, so again, you get the micro USB end and connect it right up here. There you go. All right, so, and then you have this end, of course, the full size USB a connection. The USB gives you a lot of cool features and maybe even the 3.5 millimeter, but I'll let you know a little bit later on while I test all the software and everything. So analog mode is designed to replicate the original signature of your audio. So, you know, maybe to use your real tech or something along those lines, nothing amazing about it. But the digital USB mode allows you to select Blaster X acoustic engine profiles 
to improve the overall immersion into your game so you feel more like you're in the game. The X Plus mode, which is part of the digital mode, is designed with specially tuned audio profiles for pop popular competitive games like CSGO, Dota, uh, uh, Call of Duty, and a few other games. Myself, I'd probably play in uh, PUBG, but I'll let you know just how good that sounds. So X Plus is specifically developed for pro gamers. Um, it helps regulate non-critical key audio cues uh, for extra gaming advantage. Maybe you could call it cheating, but you can't because you're not, well, I, I don't know. Anyway, in the software, uh, they give you a thing called S Scout Mode. Pretty cool, designed to help you hear beyond what you can see, which gives you a distinct tactical advantage in combat. So I'm gonna see just how that sounds. The other cool thing about X Plus, it allows you to save your own personal preferences right to the headset to reproduce your sound configuration without needing to install the software on the other PC or whatever you connect to. So I'm pretty excited to test that. So with the 3.5, you can connect it to a PC, a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and everything. And this should all still work. And I will test that and put it on video and the review for you as well. But anyway, this is Iggy with This Bytes for you. Just doing an unboxing and an overview of the Creative Sound Blaster X Pro Gaming H7 Tournament Edition. More coming to you guys soon. Iggy with this bite for you up. See you guys.